Hello everyone. In today's presentation, we will talk about Newton, a DRAM Maker's Accelerator in Memory Architecture for Machine Learning. My name is Ming Xuan. I'm a PhD student in Electric and Computer Engineering at Purdue University. Before we get into the details about the project, please let, let me to introduce the co-authors of the paper, including Chong Ki Song, Yi Kong Kim, Chong Song Zhong, Su Hong Kim, Al Park from SK Hynix, and Professor Misuna Suti Suti and Professor Vijay Kuma from Purdue University. Today, Deep Neural Network is one of the most popular workload for computer architecture. It has been widely used in natural language processing, like Google Natural Language Machine Translation and BERT, recommendation system, like Facebook DLRM, and image processing, like ResNet and AlexNet. The inference of a neural network with small batch size are typically bounded by memory bandwidth of the system. Due to the leak of batching, the large filters in neural networks only have small reuse. Of course, the convolutional layers in AlexNet and ResNets are compute bounded, and it, they are not a target for PIM. Only the fully connected layers in AlexNet and ResNet are memory bounded. The filters in the first two examples and the fully connected layers in ResNet and AlexNet has low locality in inference at small batch size. The efficient inference at edge demands high memory bandwidth due to the leak of locality of the filters. There are many high bandwidth memory systems for CPUs and GPUs at the expense of extremely high power consumption. Well, the bandwidth is still limited. Processing near memory, including 2.5D stack memory with Hynix high bandwidth memory and Micron's Micron hybrid memory cube, can also provide higher memory bandwidth compared with traditional system. The processing near memory is an old technology which starts in the 1970s. However, there are several technical and commercial reasons that hampers the development of processing near memory. However, the development of the technology and the popularity of DNN transforms the processing in memory from an idea to a real product. Here are three types of processing in memory and processing near memory. The first one is called analog PIM, which plays the logic in memory array directly. The second type is called digital PIM, which plays the logic in the DRAM bank but after the sensor amplifier. The third type is called processing near memory, which means the logic are placed after actual DRAM interface. For the purpose of this paper, we treat CPUs and GPUs as processing near memory architecture because CPUs and GPUs are connected to the actual DRAM interface. Analog PIM plays logic before the sensor amplifier. This technique suffers from the same issue as other analog circuits in noisy, scalability, and process variation. The digital PIM in previous work placed the multi-core, CMD, vector processors in DRAM. It is invisible due to the limitation of power and area. The multi-core, CMD, or vector processors may occupy most of the space on the die, and that leaves a little bit of room for memory. The processing near memory, on the other hand, cannot utilize the interbank bandwidth as PIM as the data needs to be transposed with the external interface. Newton overcomes all of the problems of the previous digital PIM designs and became a commercially feasible solution for digital PIM. Processing in memory has many, many limitations in the terms of fabrication technology and the workload. The simplest multiplayer accumulates units and small buffers without any other logic in DRAM bank can introduce about 20% area overhead. The workload of PIM is also limited. The workload of PIM can only have one big operand or, the, or result with low locality. All other operands and results must be small or with high locality. The operation must be regular and support fungering the parallelism. The DNN provides such a workload for PIM design in the H server. The DNN inference without batching is composed of matrix vector product. 
The large filter of the DNN does not have high locality, but the input and output vectors are really small. The memory bounded DNN inference, which is a popular workload on each server, is a good fit for PIM. As the first PIM product, Newton's design made it, make it to be the first commercially feasible PIM architecture. Newton placed only Mac and small buffers inside the DGRAM banks. Compared with previous works, Newton has only 20% of overhead, which makes PIM to be feasible. The normal DRAM interface is used to control the logic in Newton. The command to control the Mac operation is similar to the normal DRAM commands. Trust, there is no need to design new interface for Newton, so reduce the overhead on the interface. To achieve better performance, we also perform the optimizations on the, the commands of Newton. The GOND operations are used to perform the same operation across all banks with one command. We also use the complex, complex the commands to control the multiple steps of Mac operation with a single command. We reduce the T4 parameter to achieve faster speed, speed to activate the DRAM banks. We also apply the interleaved interleaving layout to reuse the input vector to reuse external bandwidth requires. With all of these optimizations, we achieve 10 times better performance than any ideal non-PM system with infinite computational power and 54 times better performance than a GPU with the same memory configuration. On the next page, we will talk about the architecture of Newton. Here is the overall architecture of Newton. We place the 16 multipliers and 16 adders in one memory bank. The adders form the adder tree to calculate the final result of the MAC operation. A 16-bit register in the DRAM bank holds the result. The input vector will be loaded into the global buffer that is shared by all banks in one channel. Before the, before the start of the operation. Then, the input vector will be broadcast to all DRAM banks. One command will perform 16 multiplication between the global input buffer and the data in the DRAM row buffer. The accumulation will be done by, read, read by the either tree to produce the final result of the 16 MAC operations. The latency of the multiplication is carefully designed to match the latency of a normal DRAM read commands in the DRAM to avoid the waste of DRAM bandwidth. We also try to reuse the global input buffer. There are two different ways to use the global input buffer, column first or row first. First of all, let's assume that the size of the matrix is big enough. For a matrix with size m times n, we assume that n is greater than 512 and m is greater than 16 which is typically true for filter in neural networks. For column-first operation, the output is accumulated in Newton. However, the input vector will be refetched. On the other hand, for the row-first operation, the input buffer is reused, but the output needs to be accumulated in the host. In practice, we found that the row-first operation will reduce the overall overhead of the data transportation. The write to the global buffer is similar to write memory write commands, which occupies the command bandwidth. We use this interleaved layout to capture the full reuse of the input buffer. We implement command interface optimizations to remove the botnik in DRAM command interface. There is no time to explain in detail please refer to the paper for more detailed information. These optimizations are the key of the performance of Newton. The Newton operations are shown in the timing diagram. The host issued the global buffer write commands to the DRAM to load the global buffer with the input vector. Then, Newton operation is so shown in the timing diagram. The host issues global buffer write commands to the DRAM to load the global buffer with input vectors. Then 
the role of the DRAM will be activated in the groups of four. The physical limitation of the DRAM requires that only four banks can be activated in the period of 1T fault. After all banks in one channel are activated, the compute command will be used to perform a micro operations. After one DRAM row is finished, the host will issue read result command to read the result out. Because we are using the inter interleaving matrix layout, the results need to be read after processing data in one DRAM row. The optimization can also be shown in this diagram. For example, with the gong command, one command can control 16 banks to perform one MAC operation. Without the gong command, 16 times more compute commands will block the operation in the DRAM. On the next slide, we will talk about the methodology of Newton. To simulate the performance of our Newton architecture, we modified one of the most popular, popular cycle-level DRAM simulator, DRAM SIM2. We used the HBM2E-like parameters to reconfigure the DRAM and the timing parameters of Newton to model the PIM commands. To show the performance of Newton, we compare Newton with two baselines, the ideal non-PIM architecture and, and the GPU. The ideal non-PIM architecture are architectures with infinite computational power. The performance of the architecture is only limited by the external DRAM bandwidth, which is better than any processing near memory devices in the world. We also compare our result against the GPU with Catalyst on GPGPU SIM. We use GPGPU SIM instead of real GPUs to model the performance because we want to use the same DRAM timing configurations as we do in Newton. Here is the performance of Newton compared with, against the real uh, ideal architecture and the GPU. The x-axis is the name of the benchmarks. The y-axis is the speed up over GPU simulation result. The blue bar is the performance of the ideal non-PIM architecture. The orange bar is the performance of Newton and the gray bar is the performance of an unoptimized Newton. The unoptimized Newton means Newton without optimized commands and the interleaving matrix layout for input reuse. The layer-by-layer layer result is provided on the left-hand side of the diagram, and the end-to-end -to -end result is on the right-hand side. The Newton achieved 10 times speed up over an ideal non-PIM architecture and 54 speed up over a GPU. The result also shows that the unoptimized Newton gets only 70% of the performance compared with the GPU with which pro proves that the optimization of Newton is indispensable. We also showed end-to-end -end result of neural networks. It is noticeable that AlexNet benchmark does not benefit from Newton because the convolutional layers are composed of, are composed of the most runtime of the AlexNet. Mm, the, the convolutional neural, neural networks are not bounded by memory, so that is offloaded to the GPU in the simulation. In short, Newton with optimizations can significantly outperform any traditional system. To conclude, Newton is a commercially feasible PIM architecture. Taking advantage of the simple data path design and the DRAM interface commands, Newton can be built with a reasonable error and power overhead. As is shown in the result, the optimization of the DRAM commands removes the bottleneck of command interface and the, the interleaving layout of the matrix reuse the input vector. The optimized Newton achieves 10 times performance over any processing near memory architecture and 54 times speed up over a GPU. The commercial PIM area has begun. Thank you for joining today's presentation. If you have any question about this presentation or this project, please let me know. Thank you.